Hello, hello. In this video, I'm going to tell you what languages you need to learn if you want to get into big tech companies like Fang or maybe others. While most companies do not have set languages that they have to use, most companies do have tendencies to use some languages over others. Also, some comp most companies will use common languages such as SQL, structured query language, if they are working with databases. Also, most languages use JavaScript for the front end and some kind of other different language for their back end. All right, so let's start with the first of the Fang companies. And if you didn't know, Fang is Facebook, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google. So Facebook, uh, if you didn't know, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, he built um, Facebook initially, starting out with PHP with uh, some other guy. And of course, JavaScript as well. So if you also didn't know about Facebook, is that Facebook built React. So if you want to learn just for like the front end stuff, you're going to need to know, uh, I guess, React as well. Now I want to move on to the back end of Facebook. So Facebook, of course, uses a wide variety of languages, just like most big companies. So, but if you want to like focus on one specifically to learn if to get into Facebook, because the people who are interviewing you are going to be interviewing you based on experience with these kind of languages. So it's best to learn these kind of languages, C, C++, Java, Python, if you want to work at Facebook specifically and don't want to, don't really care about anywhere else, but it's best to keep your basket or your, <laughs> your options open. So these are some, just ones if you really want to learn for Facebook. All right, I won't mention this anymore, but if you want to work on the front end, just like for Amazon, uh, they use JavaScript on the front end. Surprise, surprise. So I won't mention this again, but JavaScript for the front end. And now you might be questioning, what does the back end of Amazon use? So it's very diverse, but a large majority of Amazon uses Java. And of course, there's C++ and Perl as well. But Java is what you would want to specify, like, make sure you know like front and back if you're going into the interview. And you might just use them on Java as well. So the next bank company, use Apple, uses an interesting set of technologies. Uh, some they made themselves. So they're going to use JavaScript, Ruby, Python, Perl, and Swift. Swift, they, they made themselves. So that's very interesting. So they use Swift for like their high-level work. So their op Apple's operating systems use are built on different languages than the ones shown on your screen. So they are built on, so for example, you might think of OS X and iOS. So they're going to be built on C++ and Objective-C. So Netflix is the next one on the list. And it's probably the most unique one on the list because they use Amazon's AWS services. I mean, so does Facebook. But they use Amazon Web Services a good amount because they don't want to reinvent the wheel. So they're going to use Java, JavaScript, Scala. So Scala is one that we haven't seen on the, the, I guess, the list either. And another interesting thing is they use a lot of machine learning. So of course you're going to need to know Python, maybe R, for the machine learning. Because their big thing about Netflix is, if you ever use Netflix, is that they like to recommend shows for you to see so that you get hooked on the platform. So that's why machine learning is important for Netflix. But the big thing is, though, not to focus on languages specifically for Netflix. More focus on the technologies, like uh, AWS, like my hat. <laughs> not sponsored, by the way. But AWS, they use a lot of AWS to because they don't want to reinvent the wheel. So learn the, the, the tech, the tech stack that they're going to use. Like, are they going to use Angular or React? Or use the cloud. You learn the cloud technologies for Netflix. All right, next one is Google, and this one is going to be a very broad answer because it really depends on which part of Google that you're going to, I guess, which which project you're going to work at, because they all use different, I guess, languages. So I'll, I'll try to go through some of the different projects at Google and the languages that they use. All right, so if you want to work on the YouTube side of things, you might want to learn Python and JavaScript so that you can get those YouTube numbers up. By the way, if you like this video, like give me a thumbs up, please, on the video. <laughs> All right, Chrome, Google Chrome is an interesting one because you need to know how to make the uh, Chrome the fastest because 
Chrome is always relying on the fact that they're so fast because they have all these built-in algorithms that make it the fastest. So you're going to need to be really close to the machines. That's why assembly is on this list, C++ and Python. So these are all very efficient languages. And that's why Chrome, you need to know these languages because you want to be fast. So if you want to work on Google search, you're going to need to know Java and Python, like it's the back of your hands. You just need to write it on the back of your hand with a Sharpie, and then you'll get in. So trust me, it works. So the front end is going to use C and C++ as well. And of course, their crawler to crawl through all the web pages is going to use C++. All right, so now I want to move on, because we just finished with Fang. I want to move on to some other big companies that aren't a part of Fang. So like, these are runner-up awards, <laughs> even though some of them are very big companies. So I'm thinking of Microsoft, um, Uber, Oracle, IBM, those kind of other big companies that also work on uh, code <laughs> and technology. All right, so Microsoft is an interesting company since they um, have, once, once again, a, a wide variety of services that they offer. So I think you can think of some of their big ones like Xbox, they have Azure, their cloud provider, kind of similar to um, Amazon's cloud provider. I mean, Google had a cloud provider as well, but I didn't mention it because it's not that, well, it is, it is pretty big, but it's not as big as uh, Azure and um, AWS. Um, so yeah, they, once again, they have a bunch of different languages. So C++, C, C, C Sharp, JavaScript, but an interesting, interesting one that wasn't on the list of other companies is TypeScript, and TypeScript is on the list for Microsoft because Microsoft made TypeScript. Uh, I think in like 2011 they made it. So it might be good to learn TypeScript if you want to specifically work at Am or Microsoft <laughs> just because of that. But it's probably not good to focus just on one company's language. Because what if that company just stopped using it at one point? Then with all that time and effort will go to waste, unfortunately. So another kind of like technology or framework is .NET. And .NET is getting pretty old right now. But um, it's open source framework that is used by Microsoft. And it's used for building some of their cloud-based applications. So you, you can learn this as well. If you really want to work on the Azure cloud and think that's going to be the next big thing, Try to learn this, maybe. Some other languages might you might want to learn for uh, Microsoft, uh, F Sharp, and Python. All right, so Uber is the newest one on this list. So of course, they're going to try to use the newest technologies. So you can think of Python, one of the fastest growing languages. Node.js, uh, once again, has been updated recently, or not recently, but many years back, that made it much more popular to use as like a, a broad language. They also use Go, which um, I didn't mention Google as using, but uh, Go was made or developed at Google, or you can call it GoLang. That's where the website, that's what the website's called anyways. And then they also use Java, or Uber does as well. <laughs> All right, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. <laughs> Not really, but Oracle is the next one, kind of a big company. Do a bunch of different things as well. Not really mentioned nearly as much as the other fan companies. So they do, use Java, C++, Python for data science. So any company that is going to use data science is going to need to know Python. Or if you want to work in that area, you're going to need to know Python. So I just mentioned that here. All right, so last one, last company I want to mention. So IBM, they're just going to use Java. Well, they're going to use other things as well, but it's going to be the mostly most used uh, language on this list. And probably most used language across all these companies. Pretty much every single company is going to use Java and JavaScript on this list, and almost and probably Python as well. So at the end of the day, the specific language probably doesn't matter as much as the ideas we want to communicate across with the, that language. So as long as you know a good language that can work the algorithms, as I say, <laughs> or that can demonstrate use of algorithms and data structures, and getting your ideas off with, across with the code, then it really shouldn't matter which language you use. They all have their uses, and a lot of them can have many uses as well. So uh, thanks for watching. That's the end of this video. Uh, if you liked the video, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace.